This jar does the seemingly impossible. It can hold water in upside down. How does it work? Well, let's start with this trick, which is cool enough. You can turn a jar of water over with a piece of paper on top and the paper will stick enough to hold the water in. If you start to remove the card though, the water will spill everywhere. So what's going on with this jar? I can turn it over and then very carefully remove the card completely and most of the water stays in the jar. I'm not tricking you. If I shake the jar, water spills out. So there's no lid on the jar if that's what you're thinking. And I can also prove that by sticking a pin into the water from the bottom of the jar. So how did I do it? Well, there's a screen on the bottom of the jar. The holes are so small that surface tension in the water across each square is enough to hold all the water in. That is until it gets tipped or shaken so there's too much weight or pressure on each square and the water falls through. The hold it straight and it works. I am so fucking hurt and angry right now. I have spent this entire week working on a memorial video for my grandfather who passed away from COVID-19 on Monday. Now my grandpa, he also struggled with dementia and it's been hard to get any kind of conversation with him. I found a video clip from last Thanksgiving where I sat down and I interviewed him and I got more out of him than I had in years. And at the end of that video, I told him that I loved him and he turned and he looked at me and he said, Love you likewise. And I want to share that moment with my family. So I swallowed my pride, even though we're fighting about politics. And I reached out and I asked every one of them to send me a video clip saying, I love you, Papa, so I could put those all together with him at the end. And my anti-masker aunt, who I still partially blame for convincing my grandparents that the virus was a hoax, is refusing to send a video clip and has convinced my grandmother to not send a clip because they think it makes the slideshow about them and not about him. There are only two types of science teachers. Now, I'm gonna draw this on the board. I'm not an artist. I'm a science teacher. So this is the process of... One way to tell if you're sleep deprived is to go to bed in the middle of the afternoon and find out how quickly, if at all, you fall asleep. To do that, you need a watch, a metal spoon, and a metal tray. When you fall asleep, the spoon should hit the tray, bang, and wake you up. If you fall asleep after 15 minutes, you're okay. 10, you're sleep deprived. But if it's five minutes or less, then you may have severe sleep deprivation. This is the best Kahoot hack. So what you'll want to do is search for Kahoot winner, enter your game pin, and tap the settings icon. From here, make sure to enable always correct, and now it'll automatically select the right answer. Watermelon sugar high, watermelon sugar high, watermelon sugar high, watermelon sugar high, watermelon sugar high. Which goes farther, girls or guys deodorant? Keep in mind that these deodorants are the same weight, the same price, and made of the same material. But I was still worried that they'd act like the lipstick and kind of melt off. The girls deodorant went way farther than I thought it would, going 543 laps, or 0.87 miles. By this time, my room was also beginning to smell like deodorant. I guess that's good though, because the Sharpie smell was going away. But the guys deodorant crushed the girls deodorant, going 683 laps, or 1.1 miles. What's up, my dehydrated bitches? You know who you are. Here are the best times to drink water. Fuck! <laughs> right when you wake up, drink two glasses of water to activate your internal organs and to improve brain function. Drink a glass of water before a meal to improve digestion. Drink another glass before a shower to lower your blood pressure. Before you go to bed, drink another glass to avoid strokes and heart attacks. And your dry ass should be drinking water throughout the day anyway, but just be prepared to pee. A lot. So we've heard about this out of control Chinese rocket that's spiraling toward Earth. It's about 10 stories tall and it's gonna hit sometime between May 8th and May 10th. We don't know where it's gonna land. We hope it's the ocean, but right now we have no way of knowing. So what can we do? Come on, Space Force, come up with something. Can we hit it with a missile? Unfortunately, no. If we were to take it out in orbit with a missile, which we could do, it would scatter debris across space and pose a real threat to satellites and spacecraft for years. Now, once it starts to re-enter, it's going to tumble, it's going to break up very quickly, and that will make it very hard to target. The tanks are not very thick, and so the only thing that will survive to the ground for sure is going to be the engines. 
Those engines weigh about two tons each, and they're going to reach the surface a little faster than Mach 1. So they're going to have the destructive force of, you know, your average air-to-surface anti-tank missile. So we just really hope they hit the water. Eu testei e dá muito certo. Então essa é a parte 3 de experimentos muito legais que provam o um ponto cego do seu olho. Isso na minha opinião é o mais legal de todos, então sério, não deixe de fazer porque é muito legal. Em outros vídeos a gente viu o que é o um ponto cego do nosso olho, como que a gente descobre e prova que ele existe e também como que o cérebro completa a parte que tá faltando da imagem. E se eu te falar que você pode olhar com o seu ponto cego? E é bem simples. Você só precisa de uma lanterna, que pode ser do seu celular mesmo, e um quarto bem escuro. Quando você tiver nesse quarto escuro, tampa o seu olho esquerdo com a mão e deixa o seu olho direito bem aberto e olhando pra frente. Aí você vem com a sua lanterna e fica oscilando ela, apontando pro seu direito, assim, meio que na diagonal, pra frente e pra trás, assim. Se você fizer isso direitinho, você vai literalmente ver os vasos sanguíneos da sua retina. É muito incrível, por favor, façam e me falem se deu certo.